This video will be about hollowing parts. We will also make an infill, a lattice structure, and we will add some drainage holes. So resin printing in general is not very suitable for printing large cross-sectional areas, like for example this statue has. When separating the layer from the glass plate that you're projecting your slice on, this will generate a very large force. And this in turn increases the risk of your print failing. So a better way to print this is to hollow your objects, then add some drainage holes and an infill to strengthen it. Let's do this. You can find the mesh commands in the mesh menu. Uh, we could go to hollow mesh. I think for this case a wall thickness of one millimeter would be fine. With the resolution you can set the approximate triangle size that will be generated on the inside shell. I will leave this to 100% as we don't have a lot of thin parts in this model. And optionally you can also reduce the mesh on the inside to keep your entire mesh smaller in size. Let's go. It's now hollow hollowing out the part. And then when we use the slice track bar to view the result, we can see the part is actually hollowed with a one millimeter size. Now when we turn on the mesh display, you can actually see what the reduced, me what the reduced mesh uh, part here does. It actually reduces the mesh on the larger flat surfaces in a way that it makes your display better. I'll turn the view back to normal. Okay, now we would like to add some infill to strengthen the part because this would be way too weak printing this. For that I use the infill command which can be found in the tool belt but also on the top here or in the mesh menu. So the infill function is very basic. We have it generating a lattice with a certain diameter, diameter for which I will pick one millimeter and it has a cell size of 8 by default. I would like it to join everything in one mesh. Let's click generate to view the results. It will give me a tip. I can switch to transparent parts to view the infill, but of course I can also drag the layer slider to see the infill. Now we have one last topic to discuss, which is the drainage holes. So when you would print this, there would be some suction cups. And this could negatively affect the print. So preferably you would add some drainage holes to prevent this. And there are two ways to do this. Uh, there is a a normal drainage hole and there's a full boolean drainage hole. So a normal one, when you place this, it will just add a cylinder and during slicing this will result in a hole inside your mesh. Now the advantage of using this version of the hole is that you can still move it. So if the location is not exactly to your liking you can just rotate it or drag it. The other drainage hole is the full boolean and this will actually generate a real hole in the original mesh. So this is a bit more heavy calculation. But with the advantage that you can immediately see what it would look like. Now having all these holes here would make sure that the resin can escape and your print will succeed.